Okay, guys, what we have here is something I have not seen yet on YouTube or anywhere, as a matter of fact. This is the entire Zippo Replica collection. There are four Zippo Replica lighters that have been released, and I have a modern one here. So I'm going to go through a bit of each, explain how close they are to the original, to the best of my abilities. I'm not a complete expert on how they've changed throughout the years, but I'll, I'll point out some interesting differences. And I uh, will describe what's my favorite, what's my least favorite over the years. I'm going to give you a few different thoughts and commentary on each. So I guess I'll go with the age. I'll start with the 1932 replica on the left. Don't have the box for this, but it comes in a collector's box usually. It doesn't come in, uh, in one copying the original packaging like some of the other ones do. And here's the 1932 replica. So let's go ahead and compare it to today's lighters you'll notice right off the bat that it's a little bit taller I'd say probably about a quarter to a half an inch taller you'll notice that it's squared off on the top of the bottom sharply squared off it has actually sharp edges and one of the reasons for that is original Zippo lighters were made out of brass pipes they actually were made out of rectangular brass tubing that were cut and then the hinges were weld welded on they're not made like that today they are I believe stamped out of sheets of brass and you'll notice also the hinges one is an external hinge and one is an internal hinge. That's a design that's changed over the years. The bottom, canned bottom on the modern one, uncanned bottom on the replica because that's how it was in 1933. I understand this is a 1932 replica and that brings up an interesting point. That is a 1932 replica and Zippo did not make any lighters in 1932. It was founded in 1932 by George G. Blaisdell, but the first Zippo lighter was released in 1933. Zippo realized this mistake, and soon they started making 1933 replica lighters. So, I know this happens to be called a 1932 replica. It's really a 1933 replica. It's still a replica of the first Zippo lighters either way, though. And mine happens to have this pewter camel plate welded on the front. And they didn't really weld pewter plates on their lighters back then, so that's a bit more of a modern touch. So now I'm going to talk about, we've seen the differences, how it compares to the, the modern Zippo um, from this one I have right here. But I'm now I'm going to talk about a few more differences and how they got it right and things they missed in this replica. Or I'm not going to say missed, perhaps they just didn't want to do it any more than what they did. One thing I noticed is this is an external hinge. But... It's actually not. I thought this lighter might have been sent back for repairs because it also has a full internal hinge. Let me get my flashlight. You can see there it has a full internal hinge as well. And the reason for that is it's a fake external hinge. I mean, I'm sure it would work if you somehow ripped out the internal hinge, but it's just there for looks. The actual hinge on this lighter is the internal hinge. So, it's not technically an external hinge, but, I mean, you do get the replicas for the look, I suppose. Another thing is, it uses a modern insert. Completely modern in the fact that you can see here that it doesn't look like it would go to the bottom of the case. And that is, in fact, true. It doesn't go to the bottom of the case. The old inserts were a little bit taller, so they fit the case properly. Modern inserts are shorter, so what they have is the bottom half inch or so is in fact just a spacer of dead metal in there. So that's a, that's a little bit different from the actual original. Um, obviously the original would not say replica on the bottom. Okay. Uh, as for the insert, some of the interesting uh, things to know about the insert. The original 1932 did have 16 holes. And uh, one other thing to note about this hinge again is it was originally a three barrel hinge this is a five barrel hinge like they have on the modern lighters that's another difference and the cam because this is a modern insert the cam spring which is in modern lighters this little piece i need a pointer one second let me grab a pointer i'll be using my kershaw scallion here for a pointer again and i'll focus this camera 
Of course you won't focus. Uh, you can kind of see it. It's blurry here. Right under the cam there, you can see a little piece of metal. That's actually the cam spring. And I really wish it would focus because this is kind of important. But it's the cam spring. That's what keeps tension on the cam. So, so there's resistance when you try to flip the cam up or down. It's called the cam spring. Now, in 1933 or 1932, I'll, I'll accept both because I'm talking about it. Uh, it was actually a piston cam spring, so it looked like the uh, the flint tube almost that was pressing up against the bottom of the cam, and that's what made the cam have tension. And th this one has the modern lever uh, cam spring, so it's a piece of metal bent there. That's what it uses for its cam spring. Also, another problem: no hollow pin. The 19, the actual 1933-1932 lighter had a hollow pin. This one does not. Okay, and that's the 1932 replica. My thoughts on it? Eh, take it or leave it. It's not my favorite replica, but I'll explain my favorite and least favorite at the end. Not to say I don't like it. Of course, it's a Zippo. I love my Zippos, but as for this particular design, take it or leave it. Next. The 1935 replica. In a replica packaging, as best as they're going to get, obviously, this is, you know, not exactly the same packaging. It's not the same materials and such. But this has got the uh, the Windy Girl on there. And this is what the packaging looks like. And that brings us to our 1935 replica. Here's what it looks like in the box. It says 1935 replica. Obviously, the actual lighter did not say 1935 replica on it. Now, taking it out, let's take a look at it. Okay, this one is a quarter inch shorter, I happen to know this, than the current lighters. Take a look. One quarter inch shorter. It also has the squared off edges, though they are uh, more rounded than these sharp ones from the 1932 replica. These you could actually poke yourself with. These are a little bit more rounded. External hinge still, but this one actually did it right, as in... There is no internal hinge on this lighter. This one is actually a legit external hinge. And it is a legit three barrel external hinge. So this case is much more uh, true to the original than the 1932 replica. It has the three barrel hinge, completely external, right size, no uh, dead space in the bottom like as for the 1932 replica. and. In addition to the case being more period correct, the slashes and everything, this happens to be the brushed chrome model. The insert is more correct, not completely correct, but it's more correct. It has the 16 holes that the 1935 Zippos had. It has a hollow pin that the 1935 Zippos had. One thing that is not correct is it has the chip out of the cam here which was introduced in August of 2003, which obviously is not before 1935. And the cam spring is the new type of spring. It has this little metal piece right here for the cam spring instead of the piston spring that the actual 1935s had. But other than that, and of course the writing are different on all of them because they, uh, most of them still are modern uh, modern inserts made to look like old ones. This is, of course, made in April of 2010, so the writing is modernized. But this is, like I said, much truer to the original than the 1932-33 replica. And here we go. This is what it looks like. And, again, much truer than the 1932 replica. So, that brings us to the next big design change. In 1941... Oh, excuse me, I jumped ahead to 1941. I'm leaving out this guy right here. My favorite replica, my favorite Zippos. And, goodness, I had it in the wrong order. That's why I was jumping ahead. It's actually this lighter right here. This does not have the replica packaging, but it says Zippo Vintage Series 1937. Yes, my favorite replica and my favorite Zippo. 
and of course it's well used because it's my often carried EDC Zippo, and here we have the 1937 replica. But before we talk about this baby, my camera's memory is about to be full, so after some sort of awesome transmi transition, I will be right back. And welcome back. Oh my god! I said an interesting transition. What the hell is this? Oh my god. I'm going to take care of this. Oh, wait a minute. Something more appropriate for this video, I suppose. I don't know how the hell it got there. I said interesting transition. I didn't even know iMovie had friggin' transitions like that. Here. Come on, we haven't got all day. Keep the people waiting. And there we go. I'm sorry about that. I don't even know how that got on there. Anyway, we were at the 1937 replicas. My favorite lighters and my favorite replicas. So, looking at the box I mentioned, it's not a vintage style box. The only thing that says vintage on it is that little sticker there. Which is going to focus right now. Maybe. And... It does not have, like, the other two, the last two replicas, not the 1932, obviously. It doesn't have the info about what's different between it and the new lighters. Like, the other ones had... This stuff in here. Which, let me get my light. Where it tells you the differences between the modern one and this. Yes, this one doesn't have that. But anyway, about the actual lighter itself, these lighters are so much my favorite that I actually have two. I have the high polish chrome and the high polish brass. One is a bit more modern. This was 2010, and I think this was sometime in the 80s. I think 82. And I love them for the reason that they have the squared off edges, albeit much softer than the 1932, 33 replicas. And the internal hinge. I do not like the external hinge. I think it makes the lighters look a bit ugly, and it's it's not as secure as the in, it's not as secure as the internal hinge. And I love the slashes in there. But the differences between this one and the regular one, they are about as tall. The domed lid on the modern one kind of looks a little bit maybe making it look a little shorter, but they're pretty darn close canned bottom on the modern one, again on canned bottom on the 1937 replica, And but this one doesn't say replica like the 1932 replica does, it just says Zippo Manufacturing Co. It looks like the 1937 lighter, and going on the, to the insert, this one has 16, but it should have 14 holes. One of the holes disappeared in the 1932 lighters. It also should have a hollow pin. But the 1937, it actually has the correct cam because they changed the cam to the modern one. So it has the correct spring cam, the lever cam there under the cam, as opposed to the piston cam because they changed that just before this 1937, the actual 1937 lighter was released. So therefore the modern one, it's correct. This one doesn't live up to the actual 1937 as good as the 1935 lives up to the actual 1935, but again, still my favorite. I love the high polish chrome, flat edges, yet internal hinge, my favorite, again with the high polish brass. And that's the 1937 replica. And finally we have the 1941 replica the last design change before the new lighters, the modern lighters. Here we go, 1941 replica. This too has the information on the inside, several distinctive characteristics distinguish the 1941 and all that stuff. And this is another one that lives up to its name very well. It's got the shape, comparing it again to the modern one. It's got the shape that is much more rounded it has, you can see on the bottom of the new one, it has more squared off bottom. This has more rounded bottom. As for the size, because this is uh, more rounded, it almost looks like a little bit, a little bit taller. But that could just be me going crazy. 
This has the four barrel hinge. Oh, by the way, about the 1937 replicas, they these have minor five barrel hinges. They actually in 1937 had four barrel hinges. This has an actual four barrel hinge. So again, true to the actual lighter. The insert has the actual 14 holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then of course seven on the other side. The cam spring is is correct. It has the lever cam spring under the cam there. It has the hollow pin. So this is another one that is quite true to the actual 1941 lighters. This replica is uh, very true to that. Uncanned bottom, but modern bottom stamp, and this again has one of those upside down see my video if you haven't about that bottom stamps made in April of 2011 and the most rounded Zippo so my thoughts as a whole on the replica series the ones that are most true as I've mentioned to their actual counterparts would be the 1935 replica and the 1941 replica the 32 and 37 are not as uh, true to their counterparts my favorite 1937 replica again that's even my favorite zippo the 1937 replica this has been through everything with me including being on bizarro in six flags new england if anybody's ever been there this lighter has been to the top anyway enough of that nonsense so that's my favorite least favorite i'm going to have to say 1935 replica because not only does it have the external hinge it is much well not much but it's noticeably shorter than the current zippos i feel if you're going to make a lighter here, let me get the 1935 i feel if you're going to make a lighter any size different from the current zippos at least make it taller like the 1932 replica so yeah my least favorite is gonna have to be the 1935 but again not to say that i hate it if i had to rank them but from past to modern i would say 1935 Let's get him in the camera shot. I would say 1935. And then right after that, I would say modern. And then after that, I would say 1941. And after that, I would say 1932-33. And then after that, I would say 1935. And that's my thought on Zippo design changes throughout the years and the replica series. So if you don't have any Zippo replicas, go get them. They're an important part in Zippo history, and you might learn a thing or two about the Zippo design changes over the years that you haven't learned from this video. So thanks for watching. I truly apologize for that little transition error I had there. And you guys have yourself a great day.